Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to use the payment formula in Excel to calculate the amount of payments um, that we would need, the value of the payments we would need to make in order to find a future value if we're setting aside at a savings account or the amount of payments on a mortgage or a loan that we would need to make in order to account for um, paying it off in a fixed period of time. So let's look at our first example. Suppose that you want to save up $25,000 for a down payment on a house. You have a savings account that pays 2.5% interest compounded monthly. How large a payment do you need to make each month to reach your goal in six years? And then we'll calculate how much interest did you earn on that account? So I've laid out in a table here all the values to make them easy to follow for our formula. So the future value is $25,000. The rate is a meager 2.5%. Compounding the payments and the number of times the interest is compounded should agree, which is monthly. Six years is how long we're going to be making payments. And now we want to calculate the size of the payments we would need to make to reach this goal. We can search for the payment formula. Now, a lot of the stuff that's going to come up is not what we want, but we are looking for the PMT formula, PMT. And similar to the future value and present value formulas, the kind of information we have to put into this formula is basically the same. We need the rate per period. So that's going to be the annual rate divided by the number of times we're compounding. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Let's try again. Don't hit enter. PMT. Um, rate divided by compounding. Um, N per period is the total number of uh, compounding cycles, the num number of payments. So it's compounding times years. Now in this formula, you're either going to use present value or future value. In this particular example, we have the future value, the amount that we want to be in the account at the end. And again, notice the negative sign in our answer. In our preview, we're gonna put a negative sign in our future value so that our payment amount comes out positive. We don't need the type because we will, we will accept the default. And so if we hit enter, the payments that we have to make in order to reach this goal is $322.19. Now, if I wanna know the interest, I need to first know how much money I paid into the account. That's gonna be the payments times the number of payments that I've made. So pay, the size of my payments times the compounding period times the years. And then that will give me the total amount of money I've paid in. And then the interest will be the future value minus the amount that I paid in. So I've earned $1,800 in interest, which is not a lot because the interest rate is very small. Now, the calculating the payments from the present value for a loan is going to work very similarly. So here in our example, we want to purchase a home value to $350,000. We're able to get a mortgage at 4% interest compounded monthly for 30 years. 30 years is the standard for mortgages. How much will your monthly payment be and how much interest will you have paid on the mortgage at the end of 30 years? So let's put in our $350,000. Our rate is 4%. We are compounding monthly and we are doing it for 30 years. And so the size of our payment, again, it's going to be the same formula, PMT. Our rate is the rate per period. The N per is the total number of payments. So compounding times years. And now we're using the present value because when we take out a loan, that's the amount of the loan at this moment. That's the 350000 And Again, typically we only use present value or future value. We don't use both. And then we can skip the type because we accept the default. And so we hit okay. And again, the value comes out negative. And if I wanna fix that, I stick a negative sign in front of my present value. And now my payments will come out positive. 
So my mortgage payment in this particular circumstance would be $1,670.95. Now, if I wanna know how much interest I paid, again, I have to calculate how much money I paid on the loan, which is the payments times the total number of payments. And so the interest is the amount that I've paid in minus the present value. And this is one of the reasons why we get rid of the signs because that makes, uh, without the signs, it's, can, can, it's much less confusing. It can be very confusing um, if, if you end up with negatives and you try to subtract things that'll make it bigger and not smaller. But in, the, in this case, um, you pay $251,000 in interest. And uh, unfortunately, that is very common for mortgages that you pay basically double the price of the house uh, by the time you finish paying off your mortgage.